Okay. All right. Delta H, by definition, is equal to heat at constant pressure. So delta H enthalpy has to do with heat. Remember, delta H tells us if it's exo or endothermic. So we'll start off with concepts. Delta H tells us if it's exo or endothermic, and that has to do with heat. Giving off heat is exothermic. Uh, receiving heat, endothermic. Okay, uh, so that's enthalpy. Entropy, this has to do with spontaneity, if something is spontaneous. So, is it going towards more disorder? By definition, the more spontaneous something becomes, the less able it is to do work. So this one's a little more related to work than heat. The more spontaneous a system becomes, the less able it is to do work. Okay, delta G also related to spontaneity, uh, but it's overall spontaneity. Uh, delta G is the Gibbs free energy. And this has to do with the, any leftover energy you have, can it, uh, what's the maximum amount of work you can do with it? So this is like leftover energy. How much leftover energy can you convert to work? Okay, so that's delta G. If it is negative, delta G tells you what? Spontaneous, if it's equal to zero, it's equilibrium. If it's a positive number, then uh, delta G is not spontaneous. Okay? So spontaneous, it tells you if the reaction is really going to go. So let's try, let me see if I can find an example for us. There's some different types of questions we can ask you on this. Uh, so let me see if I can find you a fun one uh, that we can try together. Okay. Let's look, we'll just look at this together. Oh, how am I going to cover the answers? Okay. Okay, I will attempt to cover the answers here, so you don't see them. Okay, I hope you cannot see the answers to this one. Okay, I want to know, let's see if I can let it go without though. Okay, I have to hold it. Okay, I want to know which of the following scenarios will cause a system to be spontaneous at all temperatures. This is a really common concept question. Okay? So, uh, this is the old final. When was this? Oh, yeah, this is the same one that had that anchor. This one was a tough final. Winter 2005. Okay, so let's try this. Spontaneous at all temperatures. This is what that means. When you see one of these questions, you want to think delta, this equation. Delta G is delta H minus T delta S. So think that equation. If you want it to be spontaneous, what is delta G? Negative. Has to be negative. I don't care what everything else is, as long as this is negative. Okay, for it to always be negative, both this, what does this term have to be? Negative. Yeah, it has to be less than zero. It has to be negative to be spontaneous. What does delta S have to be? Positive. How about temperature? Positive. Can only be positive. Okay, so don't get that one messed up. All right, so it has to be this configuration. So what letter does that go with? B. B. Good. Fantastic. If you selected all the above, you are crazy. I like this one, though. We're not going to do it, but I'll just show you. Pit of despair. I like that one. We like to see what students circle stuff like that. Okay. So. Okay. Any questions on this? It's very typical. Have questions. Yeah. 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 Ye